going on, Vinyl Community? Welcome to another video with the Record Spinner. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my KISS cassette collection. When I was a kid, aside from the format of CDs, I gravitated towards the format of cassettes. Partly because I had a little Fisher-Price tape player that I carted around with me everywhere I went, and I would play cassettes of the albums that I really loved. My dad and I would always go down to the local flea market, and as he would be searching for baseball cards and CDs, I would be on the lookout for cassettes. And I remember one specific time I came home with almost every 1970s Kiss album on cassette, which formed the basis of my collection, and it provided the soundtrack of my childhood. And even when I graduated, from cassettes. If I ever stumble across them at yard sales or record stores, I'll still snag up Kiss cassettes simply because at this point it serves as memorabilia. And let's face it, they're far more compact in size compared to these suckers. So I figured this would be a cool means to provide some Kiss related content and really show you guys the roots of my Kiss fandom by showcasing my Kiss cassettes. It isn't by any means complete. There's surely some holes and hell, there's even a handful of cassette singles, which I don't own. But as of filming in mid 2024, this is my Kiss cassette collection. So enough of the chit chat. Let's jump into what this video is all about. Okay, so all my cassettes are housed in these sort of briefcase style cases, and obviously this case has the KISS collection. So it opens up just like this, and here it all is. Disregard this part of the uh, of the case, but this kind of gives you a glimpse of what other stuff I have in my uh, cassette collection. But starting off with the most appropriate place to start, and that is with the self-titled debut. Now this is the 1987 edition, an interesting anomaly uh, since on side one, it skips over nothing to lose. The song opens side two, and it's the Alive version for no apparent reason. Then moving on to Hotter Than Hell. This is the 1987 edition and another track list difference. The closer Strange Ways follows Got to Choose on side one. Then Parasite introduces side two. And I have two copies of this. This is the white cassette version. And then I also have the exact same edition. I can get it out of the, uh, of the space. This one comes on a clear cassette. Then moving on to Dress to Kill. I have two versions. The 1987 edition on a white cassette as well as the 1997 remaster where they kind of tinkered with the artwork a little bit, which looks really cool. Then moving on to Alive. Now I have the 1985 version as a, a clear cassette and another track list difference. Side one of the tape consists of sides one and three of the album. And then side two of the tape consists of sides two and four of the album. So it's kind of interesting how I grew up listening to these wonky versions and modified track lists and such, uh, not knowing that it was kind of a far cry from the original intent of the original albums. And I, this is also a second copy of that, uh, that 1985 version that I just showcased. Now moving on to Destroyer, I have two versions. I have the 1985 version as well as the 1997 remaster, which I got for Christmas uh, back in 2000. So this stuck by me for many, many, many years. Then Rock and Roll Over, this is the 1985 edition. Disregard me writing my name on the uh, J card back when I was a kid. It's called claiming ownership of, of your uh, of your stuff. Then we move on to Love Gun. Now this is an original 1977 edition. Now I don't believe it's this exact copy since I got this in recent years, but the very first Kiss album I ever got was a cassette copy of Love Gun, and if memory serves me correct, it was this. Uh, exact version just going off of my uh, vague memory then we have alive 2 if i can get this back in the uh in the space it's a little tight here there we go so alive 2 i have an original 1977 edition still sealed 
which is not um, held in this case since it's a little bit of a bulkier package. So I have this separate, but as you see, it is still sealed. And I also have the 1997 remaster. And then for double platinum, I have the 1989 editions right here. These come on uh, white cassettes. And then I also have the BMG Club editions on clear cassettes. Of course, broken up into volumes one as well as volumes two. Then we move on to the solo albums. So for Paul Stanley, I have an original 1978 edition as well as I'm trying my best to get these out. These these holders are really really tight. Uh, this is a 1988 edition. Moving on to Gene Simmons, all I have is the 1997 remaster. And then as for the Catman himself, Peter Chris, 1978 edition, as well as the 1988 edition. And then Ace Fairley, I have a 1978 edition. Now this one is kind of bizarre because of um, the print is sort of upside down and backwards. It like kind of wraps around like this, whereas you're supposed to kind of have it like that. So it's kind of an interesting variant to sort of own. And then I also have Best of the Solo Albums, and uh, this is a 1978 edition from the Netherlands. Moving onward, we have Dynasty, a 1985 edition. And then for Unmasked, I have an original 1980 edition. And as for Music from the Elder, I have the 1997 remaster, and uh, let's just say, as a kid growing up, Music from the Elder was one of my favorite Kiss records. And as you see, I wrote on the on the uh, the case, and the J card is completely obliterated. So let's just say this cassette was uh, was much much loved. Needless to say. Then moving on to Killers, this is a 1982 Netherlands copy. And then Creatures of the Night. Uh, this is the unmasked version, that, which came out in 1985 with the remixes, as well as the resequenced uh, track list. Moving on to Lick It Up, we have an original 1983 edition. And then for Animalize, I have an original 1984 uh, Columbia House uh, Club edition. As you can tell with the uh, the CRC notated on the uh, spine. Then for Asylum, OG 1985. And then moving onward with Crazy Nights. This is an OG 1987 with the CR02 uh, tape indicator there. Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits, original 1988. And then kind of keeping it in line with the uh, territory, I also have the uh, Let's Put the X in Sex uh, cassette single. Next up, we have Hot in the Shade, original 1989 edition. And kind of similarly with the Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits one, I have a cassette single for uh, Hide Your Heart. Then we have Revenge, original 1992 edition. And then for Alive 3... 
original 1993 edition. And then we get into Greatest Kiss. This is a 1997 BMG Club edition. Then moving on to Carnival of Souls, original 1997 version. This I never thought existed. It wasn't until I went to a Riverbend Records and saw a copy on the shelf that I had to snag it. Thought it was really cool. And then I remember picking this up at my local FYE when I was a kid. Psycho Circus, original 1998. And then just as an added bonus, I do have a couple of Ace, uh, Ace Furley, Furley's Comet uh, cassettes. Of course, I have Second Sighting here, as well as Trouble Walking. So there you guys go. That is my Kiss cassette collection. If you have one yourself, what does it consist of? Please drop a comment down below. I'd love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the records spinning.